Hi guys, Baina here from Baina.com. Today I want to talk about Parisian fashion style and what that's actually taught me about my home. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I'm a huge fan of Parisian chic style. Every time I get an email or check a blog, there's always some kind of article about Parisian chic, how to get the Parisian style, how to build a Parisian wardrobe. I think a lot of us are just really we love what French women do, and it's this effortless, sophisticated, chic look that they just seem to nail so easily. So today I'm gonna to share my three tips of what um, studying their fashion has actually taught me about my home. Um, and before I do that, I wanna invite you to join my free 30-day makeover challenge. It's my free four-week online class, which is gonna be starting on May 2nd. And I'm really gonna be teaching my own unique method that combines interior design, minimalism, and kind of my own take on feng shui. So I hope you guys will join you, join me. It's all about you know getting your home um, refreshed and designed and learning some principles of design that's really gonna allow you to see actual real change at the end of the 30-day class. So please join me at 30daymakeoverchallenge.com at the end of this video, or you can go to my website, byena.com, and sign up there. So getting back to today's topic, um, the first tip I wanna share with you of what I've learned from fashion, par Parisian fashion, is that Parisian women tend to own fewer but better quality clothes. Um, they're so different in the way that they approach buying clothes than us Americans. Americans, we tend to have huge closets and it's like you, it's kind of like a, it's definitely a status thing to have a huge closet and tons of shoes and everything. And I think for French women, they don't value um, excess. They don't value um, the quantity. They value quality more. Um, so they tend to buy pieces that are well-made, uh, that fit well and that can last a long time and that's why I think they look so effortless and so chic. Um, they can make, a Parisian woman can make a white t-shirt and some black jeans look fabulous. So how what I've learned about that in my home is that I too over time just from living my life have learned the importance of fewer quality uh, fewer items but better quality and when I before I started this whole minimalism journey I used to go to flea markets all the time that's really how I kind of self-taught about interior design I mean I would just go to flea I grew up going to flea markets and I would just buy what I found and make it work and um, you know there's a lot of people who have this whole philosophy of whatever you see if you love it just buy it um, I have really taught myself not to do that anymore and I'm way more happy with it um, because there's I've bought so many different things over the years and I've actually sold so many different things over the years. So this home has been transformed many, many times, but it still comes back to the same rule that I've learned that I'm better off, I'm happier in my home, my design looks better when I have fewer items and they're great quality. And that doesn't mean everything has to be like showroom quality, high end, definitely not, but it's really about having a few pieces that are those great pieces and combining them with some really smart basics. Um, the second thing that I've learned from Parisian fashion and what it's taught me about my home is that Parisian women tend to focus on buying timeless classic pieces as opposed to trendy. Now, I used to be all into the trendy when I was a student in design school and kind of first starting my career because I fully hadn't, I hadn't really totally developed my point of view. Um, and so I was always drawn in by the trends. But over time, I've learned that I'm much more happier and suited to have timeless pieces that can work with a variety of different styles. And it's not going to look dated in a few years. So I, I tend to uh, select main pieces like sofas or accent chairs or sideboards that I think have clean lines, um, it, that have a timeless timelessness to them, that they're not going to be totally out and over with, um, you know, in, in a few years. And if you guys remember that whole Chevron uh, thing that was in every single design magazine, um, everybody was doing Chevron, which is the zigzag, the Chevron rugs, the Chevron pillows, the Chevron drapes. Um, I now, who wants a chevron rug? No one, because it's totally out. So um, French women tend to focus on their core pieces as classics, like the trench coat, a great white button down shirt, um, a great pair of heels, black pumps, black jeans, 
a little black dress, you know, things that can be worn over and over again and things that are really interchangeable. So they work together as a core collection. Um, but they also pay attention to trends and how they do it is they use that. They can go trendier more in the accessories that they wear. So scarves and belts and shoes and bags. And that's also what you can do in your home as well. Instead of, you know, upholstering your sofa in a chevron print, just do a few pillows or, you know, paint an accent wall or so focus on your accessories and and smaller items that can be switched out over time so that you don't end up having to replace huge pieces of furniture when it's over and you're over and you can't look at another chevron again um, the last tip I want to share with you what I've learned from fashion, French fashion women um, they tend to keep it comfy they're not super showy so even though they exude this feminine uh, you know, feminine, chic, very attractive allure. Um, you're never going to see them stumbling down the street in a pair of stiletto heels. Um, and they're not going to do a bare midriff and like a deep V-neck. They're going to choose one or the other. So um, I like to compare that to what I've learned about in my home is that this is my home um, and I don't want my home to wear me. Um, so there's an authentic authenticity that I think is so key in creating a home that's really reflective of you. And long past are the days when we used to have these formal rooms where you would have guests in your formal rooms and you would never sit in there, you know, any other time. And, and the, it would be like, don't spill anything. And you're, you're very cautious about using it or ruining it. I'm definitely, uh, like the idea of comfort and usability and authenticity in your home. Um, if, if you have a space that you've had designed or you've designed and you really don't want anyone to sit on the sofa or you're watching your guests or you're just so uncomfortable that they're going to ruin it, you we're really missing the point of creating a home um, because you and your guests should be just as comfortable in that space um, every, every single day for all occasions. Um, it's just a much more livable, livable situation. Um, so those are the three tips that I have for you today. And I want to just say one thing. I read this really cool article um, on Refinery29, and it talked about why Americans should not emulate, emulate Parisian women. But it made a really cool point because it said that um, we're always seeing so many articles about how Parisian women are so chic, but the people in those pictures are always the same kind of person, which is uh, white women and they're always really thin and they're always really beautiful and it, the article was saying that you know what that is not the only standard of beauty those are not the only Parisian people not everybody is a size two some people are bigger some people are smaller there's a whole international group of people of different races and I love that perspective so I love the Parisian chic style the pictures that they share are one of them but that's not the only you know standard of beauty out there and I just wanted to say that um, because I, I really appreciate the design, but I love diversity. I'm a diverse woman. Um, I'm not real thin and you know that I really connected to that article. So I just want to say that I love the principles of the Parisian chic style. There's so many things that I can take away, but yes, it's not just one, one thing of beauty that I'm promoting here. And, um, so tell me you guys, tell, share, share your comments. I hope I didn't go off track. Um, share your comments. Do you love Parisian chic style? What has, how have you translated that into your home? Would you, do the, does this video make sense? Um, if you've liked this video, please hit like. If you wanna share, please share, um, comment below. And please don't forget to sign up for my 30 day, 30 day makeover challenge, which is at 30daymakeoverchallenge.com. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.